Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. I recently saw that Nicole Diary had some new stamping plates and these are the large style stamping plates. So I just knew I had to pick some up from their AliExpress store. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing Nicole Diary stamping plate L03. As always, you can find information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and please make sure you have the bell notification on and please also like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my usual stamper and scraper along with five colored nail tips, which I'll be swatching onto. For the first swatch, I'll be using a white colored nail tip with a coral pink stamping polish. My preferred way of removing excess stamping from the stamper is by using a lint roller, but there are many other ways to do it as well. This image, however, is stunning and it is so, so pretty. It looks great with the white and coral pink color combo. For the next swatch, I'll be using a yellow colored nail tip along with a burgundy stamping polish. When adding these to the center of the nail, if you start to lay the image down at the end of the nail tip and work up, you can, if the nail is slightly wonky, just gently move the stamper. But another beautiful image. I almost used this for the Manny. Now I just want to point out that L03 there is two images that can be used as layering designs and I have to say they were really easy to layer as well. I will now swatch one for you. So for this swatch I'm using a light blue coloured nail tip along with two stamping polishes, a white and a dark blue. When I use layering images like this design i add what i call the outer layer first i just find it easier to add the little images inside much better than the other way around it's just about finding what works best for you but i would use these images as layering designs but also using them on their own as well but two really nice images for the next swatch I'll be using a light green coloured nail tip along with a dark green stamping polish. I'm really drawn to this image and I think it's the bird that is attracting me. Not quite sure how I would work this into a mani yet, but it is one I would definitely use though. I don't often do bird manis, but this is so pretty though. For the next swatch I'll be using a lilac coloured nail tip along with a dark purple stamping polish. This damask image is so pretty and there is a lot of other images on L03 that would work beautifully alongside it. I personally love damask images and this is why I chose to use it in my Manny and I can see it being a well used image for me that's for sure. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and money that I've created from Nicole Diary stamping plate L03. Nicole Diary L03 is just packed full of amazing detailed images of which there is 15 normal square images at the top and as I've said two of them are layering and then with all the line images and small images at the bottom of the plate there is 37 so there is just so much choice for your manis. I personally was really drawn to L03 it just offers so much and the square images are a really nice size as well. Now these larger style plates from Nicole Diary I think are very new. I think there is about six or seven of them. I currently, including this one, have three of them. So there will be another two stamping plates of this size from Nicole Diary to come to my channel in the coming weeks. Now as I said earlier, I purchased these from AliExpress and I paid £1.52 per plate. Yes, you heard me correctly. £1.52, that's a brilliant price for such a large style plate. I was a little concerned about just how well L03 would stamp, but to be perfectly fair, I've been blown away with just how good L03 stamped, and I think the swatches show this. They all picked up first time, and I did use two different stampers, the one you see me use in the video section, but also my small clear jelly stamper stamper for the smaller images. Out of all of the swatches, there is only one that I do not like, and that's the big circle image on the second row from the top. I just feel the lines in the circle got a little bit lost. 
Now with the layering images, I've swatched them as layering designs, but also each image on its own, just so you can see what they look like together, but also that you can see them separate as well. I was a little unsure if they were layering images to start with, and I questioned it for a while, but I thought, they've got to be. So I did them as layering, but I would definitely use them like it as well in a mani. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I love plates which offer small and large designs on them as I love to use both a mix of them. It can really break a mani up. And you'll also see this from the mani in which I've made. I definitely know that I'll be returning to L03 again and again. It's a really nice plate to work with. Couple of things I will say. Watch your fingers when removing the blue film. I nearly sliced mine off. And the other thing I will say is that they aren't super thick metal plates, unlike other brands that I have. But overall, really easy to work with stamping plates. These are super purse friendly. So for the Manny, I went for a red gel polish as my base colour and I've stamped in a rose gold stamping polish. Now this picture does not do this Manny justice, but I've used two different images, a large damask which I swatched in the video along with a small circular image and I have to say they work super well together. I just wished I'd have chosen a slightly darker colour to stamp in, but it's still really nice though. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with the Manny and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L03. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.